What's going on, guys? What's going on? It's your boy again. And this story here, it hits home with a lot of dudes that I know myself, a lot of guys that went through something similar. A lot of, might be extreme as him, but trying to raise a child outside of your home and just going through all the negativity that you have to go through to raise your child. Now, this young man here had a whole story what happened in his situation. And he prevailed, but not without a lot of craziness from the mother. And so let's jump right in this, get this thing going. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe, like, and share. Definitely, definitely comment and like the video. Um, the guy that's over this video is Works Plus Gains. That's their page it came from. Make sure you go and support it, Work Plus Gains. So let's run his numbers up and um, check this out. Y'all probably wonder what's going on, but yes, that's me, my son, and his mom. Hold on, don't click off this video real quick. I'm going to show you why I'm posting this video with Terrence Crawford, because he inspired this. Bud came out with his hands balled up. And his daddy said, we got a million dollar baby boy, and I said, we ain't got shit. Now let's get back to the video, but I'll explain everything here shortly. This, this is my event. Okay, so a quick little backstory on this. Right here is in the blue on the ground, that's the father. The woman in the white with the bandana, that's the mother. Now, the child, of course, you could tell with the red, the boy right there. Look how he's locked on the dad's arms. He doesn't want to go. All right. But the mother is coming there making a scene. The boy doesn't want to go. But the whole thing is she is so concerned that she's going to lose child support if the child doesn't go with her. Now, she just got out of the hospital from from mess with her, you know, involving her boyfriend. Let's put it like that. So the child been with the dad while they get all this situated, and then she just pops up at a basketball game and makes a big scene. But just check it out, guys. Like, some of you guys probably can remember some stuff similar to this. All right, stop. Get your ass up here. Come here. Look how she talked to the boy. The way he's holding on. Listen to him. Now she's yelling, call the police. He's not holding the son. The son is holding on to his arm. So she's saying call the police because the little boy don't want to go with her. He doesn't want to go back over to the house. So why are you screaming at him because the boy doesn't want to be with you? You see what I'm saying? Now, this part we couldn't show because YouTube would just shut the whole video down. But another lady that came up was trying to get her to understand and step back and they get an altercation. Now, I think she came with someone, that girl that was standing in front of the camera, that red and black, she's with her. So I think a whole big thing bust out and it just gets ugly from there. Hold on, baby, calm down. The video y'all saw was of my son when he was younger. His mom pulled up on us when he was at an event and was claiming that I kidnapped my son and that I was brainwashing my son 
I was neglecting my son. I was putting my son in danger. She was just recently in a situation where her house got shot up wow. close to 30 times. Whoa. Two people died. She was shot. Her boyfriend was shot. Um, she got shot. And her family member got shot, but he got killed. So her boyfriend got killed and her cousin got killed. She survived. But one thing about that situation, she ran towards the kid's bedroom. Or she ran towards a bedroom that was right lined up with the kids. So when they shot, thank God that, you know, the bullets didn't go through them and through the walls and kill the kids. But that's just a side note. Situation happened. Um, Hold on. So that's why the boy didn't want to go back, back over there. So he probably was traumatized of the house getting shot up. I mean, just imagine someone unloading a full clip. That's 30 rounds, a full clip, 30 rounds inside of your house. And so the boy probably don't want to go back over there. It probably traumatized the mess out of him. Then just notice that two people was deleted and you ready to come over there and fight and take the child back. And he's with his dad. Y'all see what I'm saying? And I, I see this all the time where the, the mother simply just don't want the kid to be with the dad. There's no particular reason. It's just because we're not together. We broke up 10 years ago. You still holding a grudge. You still taking it out on the child and myself just so you can get child support. But in the, mean, in the meantime, you're going to neglect the child any time from being with the father. That's what's going on. And that still happens to this day. So y'all can, can get off that mess how every mother's a good mother. It's not true. They're not. My son was staying with me. She pulled up on us. It was like we kid I kidnapped my son. Only reason why my son was with me was not with his mom during this time period. Was because for one, or the dude she was Hold on, let's see if I can fix this video for a second. Okay. Here we go. He was with he did he was selling drugs. And so he tried to rob somebody and it went wrong. So they tried to set up some dude and he got them before they can get him, even though she tries to spin the story. But when he was interrogated after he getting caught, that's what he came up with. So before he got caught, I didn't know what was going on. So I made sure I went to get my son because when this happened, the government was trying to step in and maybe see what was going on, see if the kid was being neglected because there was a bunch of kids in the house when this happened. So I made sure I got my son immediately. So since she was in the hospital, so my son wouldn't be in the system. So I went to get my son and was calling up to the hospital. They wouldn't release any information because she was shot. They couldn't catch the subset or the suspect yet. So whenever someone gets shot, if you're not like a certain type of family member, they don't let you come into the hospital room or get in or you can't call up to the hospital and get information about who you're looking for. So I tried that didn't work. So I had to wait for, you know, her to reach out to me when she did, <clears throat> she just started flipping, cussing me out. Was like, where my son at? You keeping my son from me. I was just shot. And y'all notice the terminology where my son, my son, you keeping my son. She can't even have visitors. She's in the hospital. I don't know if a lot of you have been around. In this area where I grew up, it was shootings all the time. And the hospitals be locked down. You can't get in. Nobody's coming in. Because they always have family members that show up and show out. So you don't know who was you know, involved with the shootings or whatever. So they lock down everything. Nobody can come visit anyone. So like they said, until they catch the person, nobody's coming in there. So she couldn't even see her. The dad couldn't even bring the son up there. They couldn't get no information because of the situation. So she gets out and runs straight over there to get the son and say he kidnapped the boy. Only thing he did was kept the boy from going in the system because when the police show up after all this and all these deletions, there's a house full of kids. So the kids got to go to somebody. So he came and got his son. I, I mean, I don't, this is crazy, man. This is crazy. This is crazy.
she kept arguing with me and I was like, okay, just talk to your son. Here goes Damari. And I put my son on the phone. I was just like, here, talk to your son. I put my son on the phone and she was just still cussing and cussing and cussing and cussing and cussing and cussing. He was trying to get her attention and he was like, dad, she's not talking to me. She's just cussing you out. And then, then I said, let her know you're on the phone. And, and when he mm. said his name, she was like, I don't care. Put your dad back on the phone. Mm. Now I'm like, oh, you're crazy. I said, why won't you talk to him? He's like, no, you're, you're trying to be slick. You're trying to keep him from me because you're trying to get off of child support. I'm not going to go on this child whole support. backstory on child support, but this woman had me on child support. She put me on child support. And she played games because she was playing playing me and someone else was trying to make it seem like it was someone else's baby when it was mine. And I was wow. trying to say it was mine, but she was telling him it was his. And he was going crazy, mm. putting his hands on her, trying to, you know, hurt me maybe supposedly. But I wasn't, you know, phasing it. But he was making threats towards me, you know, because of her. And she was playing all these games and trying to later on marry me when I was in the military. I was telling him she was going to get my car and divorce me, take everything. And then my son was going to be with them because, you know, she was pinning the kid, on, pinning my son on him and saying wow. he wasn't mine. Is... It was just messy. So she got exposed. Everything blew up. She couldn't, you know, take, you know, take, you know, she couldn't accept her responsibility in what she caused, the damage she caused in this family amongst people in the community. So later on, you know, she never got a DNA test, never knew if he was mine at the time. So when I went to Afghanistan, before I went to Afghanistan, she popped up at the house to come see me was like, hey, here's your son. And, and then I knew he was mine because I could just see it. See, it's clear as day. My name was already on birth certificate, but I knew he was mine. So I'm like, cool, we need to work stuff out. We need. I need to be in my son's life. You know, I don't like all that drama. She's like, cool, cool. I leave, go to Afghanistan, boom. About a month, two months later, I was in, I had to go to court, didn't know it. So I had a child support hearing. They put me on child support. But because she pulled up on me before I went to Afghanistan, I set stuff up. My mom is sending her a thousand bucks a month. So I was giving her a thousand bucks a month. Then child support was hitting me for like 600 and some change. So I was giving her about 1600 bucks a month for one kid. And then by the time I came back, they were still expecting me to pay that amount. So I was, I was literally broke. But he All right. So let's give him a break on that real quick. Guys, stop doing so much. All right? He was giving her $1,000 before she went to see child support. She went to child support. Evidently, she didn't tell him she already received $1,000 for him. So they award $600. That's when he should have stopped the $1,000. And she would have realized, oh, my God, I was receiving more on him than what the, the courts are giving me. But because he's trying to be Mr. Good Guy, and I'm telling you guys, you will never be the good guy in these situations. He continued to let her get the thousand and the six hundred. So now he's losing sixteen hundred a month. And see, when you deploy, you have because it's, it's tax free. So you have all this extra cash overseas. Um, you get this extra little this and that. But the biggest thing is that the money is tax free when you're in combat and all this other stuff. So you thinking, oh, I got all this money, but you're going to leave. You're not going to stay there forever. And so you come back home, and now they're expecting you to still pay $1,600. The courts didn't, though. She did. So that's why, guys, you got to do your due diligence on this stuff. Now, if he had set it up through the military and did an allotment, then all they had to do was stop the allotment. But see, he set up with his grandmother, and she just sent it to her. So that's where you got to be smart, guys. You can't just jump out here and think, well, that's my son. I'm going to do whatever to take care of him because there's a system behind this. And you got to learn how to, how to maneuver this thing. Or you'll end up, like he said, he was about broke because she don't care. And this is what y'all need to understand. That lady does not care if your butt is on the ground, living on the ground, they don't care. Only thing they worry about is getting that money. And long as she knows she got that kid, she's going to get $1,600 from her. That's the problem. Anyway, mm. she was doing all this, spending money on some other guy. My son was in dookie diapers, pee diapers. She's See? seen this do lobster, steak, everything. I'm helping. My mom was helping out. When my mom found out, she told me, and I was, I was livid. But... She was important to my son. She didn't care about my son. By the time I got out the army, my son was already living with someone else, living with her aunt. 
And she wasn't taking responsibility of my son, but she was still collecting child support payments. And child support never stopped it, interrupted, no nothing. It was terrible. I, I will break this stuff down if y'all want more on like what was my mind frame, why I didn't go to courts, or you know, a little bit more about me. But anyway, see what I'm saying. So just fast forward to the future she just was neglecting my son so many different times i was trying to get close to my son i finally got real close to my son got him with me and was you know making him trying to help him become a better person than what i was and so he can break any family curses next you know i found out my son is lacking a lot of different school i mean tool sets or he's lacking a lot of different skill sets or tools that he needs to survive in the future, definitely as a man. So I found out his mom was just chasing other dudes. She was wanting me. She was using my son as a as a pawn to get money out of me or to get me back with her. If I couldn't be with her, she was going to get money to make me suffer and to try to keep me from being with other people. And she said it out of her mouth. I and that's, that's what I'm saying right there. People don't like to believe it, but they know it. That women, mothers do this. If they see the life that you have and not seeing their lives progress, they are going to come for you. They're going to keep coming, keep coming. And the crazy thing is they will have kids with other dudes and will not do it to them. No lie. They can have two or three other kids out there, will not have the, any of those other, other guys on child support, just that one guy. And they want that one guy to do for all those kids. I never seen it. I, I'm telling you. And a lot of you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. And some of you ladies know. Because y'all know somebody that did that. You can't come pick up your son unless you get, get the rest of them. Those are not my kids. It doesn't matter. Those are his brothers and sisters. So if you can't take one, you can't take none. I mean, if you can't take them all, you can't take none. I heard that so many times growing up in, in relationships. But I said to myself, I would never do no mess like that. I don't care how many kids she got. If I didn't come to get them, I told you in advance, I was coming to pick up all of them. I'm not picking up all of them. I pick up mine and keep moving. That's what I would do. But see, these guys try to be too nice with these women, and the women take advantage of it. I don't know what happened to his, his camera right here. I got, but I got all kind of, I got other proof too that y'all can listen to. But anyway... So when that moment came and her house got shot up and I see my son was still behind in life and struggling with certain things, um, you know, they was calling him Debo. He was a bully. He wasn't doing good in school. He didn't have really any skill sets. He stuttered. I used to stutter. He didn't know how to read, spell. I was like, bump that. He's with me. I'm about to get him right. And until we find this guy who shot up your house, almost killed my son and these kids, he can't come back with you just because of the way he exactly. was cussing on the phone while he was talking to you. And then all you was focused on was child support, child yeah. support, child support. I let you get child support. For two years while he was still living with me, never called and wow. complained about it or nothing. But as soon as I was like, hey, I want to stop the child support. So I'm sitting in the private school. I'm doing all this extra stuff for him. I need this money to come into my household with my family. You was popping up, torturing my family, doing all this extra stuff. You popping out at events, trying to say I kidnapped my son. All because of child support. All because of child support. I can give y'all more backstory, but I'm going to just say now, my son saw that Terrence Crawford video, and I thank God that we already put him in boxing, or I've been teaching him how to box, basketball, but he's, he's loved boxing even more, and he's, he's more inspired to fight back for his life because he saw Bud's story with his mom. And so he's seen how his mom thought about him and how his dad thought about him. He's like, that's like my same situation. My dad been speaking great things about me. So he wants to see and his mom done called him stupid, dumb, all kind of stuff. Mm. And I and I speak differently. I speak against that. So my son's gonna make it. Um we're trying to get him to the NBA. He might go to he might go to boxing now. So if he goes to boxing, I'm gonna move back to to my hometown and put him in a gym with Bud since I know Bud and you know, see Bud would show my son some love, not like give him extra cool points but just show them how to you know get that little edge that dog because i have it too but you know sometimes you need other people from the community to pour into people i'm not a, a blocker of blessings so i just wanted to make this video real quick just to let people know like hey fella speak out stand up 
use your voice. I didn't speak out, but I have documented stuff over the years. I just never spoke up because I didn't think there was a platform for it. For, for it. Sorry, y'all. I'm just getting passionate. There I didn't is. think there was a platform for it. Right. But people have been showing mad love on a video for Terrence Crawford, speaking up, you know, giving him praise, was saying like his mom was wrong for that. They 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 spoke, you know, blessings over the dad. But the mom, she might have changed by now. So, you know, I'm, I'm open for forgiveness and second chances, but you got to really show the work. You can't just say the stuff and just expect someone to forgive you, because if you've been forgiven already, you already blew the word forgiven without putting the work in to get forgive. Bump that more information. For my yeah. So this my thing on all this. Hats off to this brother for hanging in there and saving his son from this destructive mother. Guys, we can't allow these type of mothers to control the whole situation. I mean, times are different now, so you can run at the court, you can do all these other things. Like when I was coming up, especially in this area, the judge favored the woman. Everybody that went there, no DNA test whatsoever. I remember the judge said, feed them till they look like you. Everybody that was going to court, that the judge told them, well, feed them till they look like you. It's like, God, though. And then you come to find out, you know, why they get give it to the women so much? Because there's a kickback to the state for every woman that they, that's, um, they put on child support. Everyone, I'm sorry, every woman that's getting child support and getting on the system, the state gets a kickback. So that's why they do it. With no argument whatsoever, they don't care about the man. They really don't care about the child. The one, most of the women, they just want the benefits. I've seen women go to college. They send them to college and everything and still won't get a good job because they don't want to come off this stuff. Women in nursing school, they stop going because they know if they finish, you got to get a job as a nurse and make some real money. So that means you got to pay for everything on your own. So they'll stop and just do CNA, some other little stuff, but they will not get those high-paying jobs because – they want this money and this child support. So it's it's weird out here how all this stuff going. Like this brother didn't give up on his son and doing all this stuff to make sure his son's in the right position. Uh, seems like the son is with him now. And the thing is, the mother will never get looked down on. Like he's all about, he's saying this forgiveness stuff and all this. We need to stop this forgiveness for for this for the behavior of some of these people. We need to stop it. Why do I need to forgive you? You did all this stuff to try to tear me apart and the child. Why is it for me to forgive you? You know what I mean? And we all get caught up in this black in the black community with this forgiveness stuff of people doing the worst things to us. Why? I never understood it. Everybody think, well, if you don't, that's for you. That's not for this to get into heaven. Well, I do a whole lot of other things to try to get into heaven. But forgiving somebody who tried to tear me apart and destroy my relationship with my kid, nah, they will be on the they'll be on the back end of that list. They might be on the list somewhere. They're 222 million and one. But I'm I'm just being honest about it. Why y'all keep giving them a pass for doing the worst they could ever do to you, which is to take the child away from the father. And that's what they're doing out here. So, guys, y'all let me know what y'all think of the video. Um, like I said, support the channel, uh, Work Plus Gains. That's the guy, his platform. I've had to go and I'm going to subscribe. I had gone over to the actual page. I got this from another page that I saw earlier this morning. So I just want to say something about it real quick because it kind of hit home in my situation when I was younger and a lot of my friends. So you guys make sure y'all stay grounded, man, and doing what y'all supposed to do. Take care of your kids, stay in your boys' life, especially your boys. Make sure your daughters don't be out here doing things weird. You got to be present, guys, and you got to let them know that you are present. And it, it believe me, it works. They they know they still need something from you. And so even though the mothers don't, the kids do. So that's all I got, guys. It's your boy, and I'm up out of here. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe, like, and share. 
Definitely make sure y'all like the video. Make sure y'all comment on the video. That will help move the algorithms. And it's your boy, and I'm up out of here. Thanks for checking out. And I'm gone. Peace.